All the critical questions that the NCI takes on to influence cancer for the benefit of the American public are supported by the Frederick National Lab for Cancer Research. And this is in many important and very direct ways. Today, about two thirds of the research conducted in the lab concerns cancer, and about one third is on infectious disease and other health challenges. The Frederick National Lab is an extraordinarily important and critical and unique resource. And if you go back to the early 1980s, when HIV was discovered in 1983, 1984, and the first test to be able to screen the nation's blood supply was actually developed at the Frederick National Laboratory. But then well beyond that, you know, diagnostic tests and assays related to Zika, to Ebola, to SARS. The labs tackled many cancer research projects of great importance. One of them is the Cancer Genome Atlas, and this effort sequenced more than 20,000 primary cancer types and then made those data publicly available, and this effort really changed fundamentally our basic understanding of cancer. And then extensive research is being done on RAS, considered by many to be the worst oncogene, and it's mutated in about 30% of all human cancers. There have been hundreds of clinical trials that have emanated out of the Frederick National Laboratory, and they've produced close to 130 biopharmaceutical products. The lab has state-of-the-art computing capabilities that aren't found anywhere else in the world. It has a national cryo-electron microscopy facility that can image protein structures at the most atomic level. It has a new facility to produce CAR T cells used to treat patients with advanced cancer. Many of these resources are shared widely and freely with scientists all across the United States to facilitate their own important research. I think the lab is actually a gem in a very celebrated National Institutes of Health enterprise. It's been through some of the most important public health challenges that we've had to face and it's made major contributions. We're using science to make the whole world a safer and a healthier place. And it's that sense of purpose that is so special about the Frederick National Lab. National Cancer Institute.